We could have that boundaries report possibly by year's end. As the country prepares for the upcoming general election, a critical part of the process will be a review of the 41 constituencies across the Bahamas. The five-member constituencies commission has met twice and it is pushing to present a report by the end of the year. Betty Thompson Moss sat down with the commission's chairman today to get an overview of the process. Quite a bit will be hinging on a report from the Boundaries Commission. A cut or a decrease in the constituencies could affect the number of parliamentary seats in the House. The final and essential work of the Parliamentary Registration Department also rely heavily on this report. While it may not be mandatory for the Commission to make changes, Chairman the Honorable Alvin Smith says the group must review the number of constituencies, the boundaries of those areas, and the equity of voters in those communities. As it now stands, there are up to 5,000 voters in some areas, compared to about 3,000 in others. Of course, um, the Commission would want to look at that, would want to review because it's just glaring if, if, if the, the Constitution said that we ought to seek equity in seats, uh, then that's something that we would have to look at. To date, 136,000 persons have registered for the upcoming general elections. This figure makes it easier for the Boundaries Commission. That gives us, in our view, a very good and strong indication of where the population shift is what areas um, have been reduced in terms of numbers relative to what they were in 2007, and what areas, what constituencies would have increased in numbers uh, compared to what they were uh, the election before. As the Commission studies the current register, it is also essential to have clearly defined boundaries and not imaginary lines or those that do not follow a defined path. As much as practicable, we like to have defined lines that persons can actually see. As, mu as far as that is um, practicable, we like to do that. Um, in, fact, in fact, not just we like to do that, I think every Commission prior to the one we are sitting, the one that's uh, meeting now, also wanted to do those things, but there were some, um, some boundaries that had imaginary lines. The Commission is pushing to complete its work before year's end, and this is what the five-member team will be looking at. We are only looking at numbers and nothing else. The 2007 Commission report was presented two months prior to the general elections. This time around, the Commission is hoping to give voters and candidates ample time to know their constituencies and allow for a smooth electoral process in the Bahamas. Betty Thompson-Moss, ZNS News.